Thank you very much, sir. Three, Stay hydrated, two, folks. One, go. Okay, gonna start with Smashville here. He just lets it rip. I'm just gonna be able to punish here. Only getting him up to 28%. I'm really excited to see what Zamba does on the ledge here with the use of all of these projectiles, and especially with the up If he can catch him with the neutral getup too many times, Zamba's going to be able to convert off of those a lot. So, here we see again. Zamba in the perfect situation. Mr. E without a jump here. Let's see what he'll be able to do. Allows him to get back to the stage. And that was a missed opportunity there. I think he missed input in with the... Uh, I think he meant to jump there. But, again, Zamba with the early lead here. Allows Mr. E to get back to the stage that we've seen Zaba early on in this match get those opportunities where he is trying to get that sort of ledge trap kill that he's been getting all game, but he re the reverse up be there, catching him off guard. Something else we've seen Zaba do a bunch of. Is he going to be able to kill again here? No! He went for the gusto. Uh, respect to Zaba, but he's going to be able to uh, bring it back to early. 2-2 two, two here. Zamba without a jump. Okay, good high recovery, though. Mr. E trying to catch him low. But all of a sudden, Zamba finds himself in a deep hole. Sometimes that's all it takes with Lucina, man. So far, it's come down to uh, edge guarding or lack thereof. At the beginning of this match, it should be an E. I don't want to say an easy edge guard for Mr. E. Zamba is never an easy player to edge guard, but. Oh. Missed opportunity on the Dolphin Slash there. And Zamba with the perfect punish. Two hit forward smash. And he's going to be able to take the first stock here. Let's see if Zamba can maybe get a cheap kill here. You're not sure. He's going to be forced to recover low there. And yeah, at a certain point, Mr. E knew he would have had to up B there. Drop down counter, 1.2% of extra credit. Pretty much an even game here. And Zamba not able to string together that neutral air into up tilt. He likes to do that at early percentages to rack up damage. Only 27% on Mr. E so far, but here come the up airs. 73%, already up to 82% on four up airs. Now he's got Zamba off stage again here. Good read of the neutral getup. Let's see if he can get this edge guard here. He's going to be forced to recover low again. Oh, nice ledge trap. He's going to go low again. Oh, no, he didn't make it back to the stage, really. Zamba going a little too low there. I'm, re I'm really surprised he was not able to make it back to the stage there. But like, like I mentioned before, Zamba was able to get that, uh, that kill early on uh, on that first stock. But Mr. E really took the adjustments in stride. And um, I feel like Zamba could do a better job of playing on the ledge there. He got that second stock uh, on the missed Dolphin Slash. I feel like Zamba knows what he has to do. It's just Mr. E is very, very good at doing it. And uh, Zamba needs to keep his options mixed up. Just to keep his options simple, not get too aggressive here. Continue to use those bombs. Here we go, another ledge trap situation here. Let's see what he does here. Again, Mr. E able to come out of it with a lot of percentage. And now Zamba on the defensive here. Back to center stage here. I love Mr. E's use of down air when he finds his opponent like rolling close to him or like in a ledge trap situation where he needs to roll in. He will just like short hop down air. If he is able to get the uh, strong hit of it, he's able to combo that into so much. An early percentage of combo into up air, and he catches his recovery low. Gonna be able to get this edge guard here. Yes, beautiful edge guard by Zamba. Zamba nodding his head in disapproval, but Mr. E just really taking it to him when he has to, but Zamba. Beautiful use of the down smash. That's the first time we've seen this, this set. Even game here. Two up tilts though will give Mr. E the early lead here. We saw both characters try to go for up airs there, but Mr. E's up tilt is slightly faster than Link's up tilt. We go back to center stage. A lot of up tilts coming out in the second stock. Dash attack, getting Mr. E off stage. And Mr. E using the uh, neutral bait to just keep his opponent at bay. Will that forward air kill? No, but Mr. E will be able to get back. He does not have to use his dolphin slash, but 
Zamba, this is what we're talking about. His use of projectiles in an edge guard situation slash edge ledge trap situation. If he can continue to do that, he's going to make this set hell for Mr. E. Oh, missed opportunity there. He missed the ledge with the upbeat, but Mr. E went for a uh, Mr. E went for an F smash, but he just got clipped by it. And again, Zamba gonna be caught low though. Oh, he uses the reverse upbeat. Will he be able to get back to the stage? Yes, he will. Mr. E, very good job. Presence of mind to save his jump. Presence of mind to know that Miss uh, Mr. Zamba, that Zamba would go for that. But Zamba still 88.7% of extra credit here. But Mr. E not out of it yet. Good shield grab right there. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. One forward air near the ledge will probably do it here. Mr. E aware of that, trying to get back to center stage, hanging out on that special platform. There it is. Like I mentioned at the top of the set, if he can find his opponent close to him, standing, standing up B is a beautiful kill option at later percentages like that. If he can catch him slipping like that again, Zama knows what he's doing with this character. Despite his despite him his continuous saying that this character is not good, Zama continues to make this character look better and better as time goes on. And there's going to be 1-1 one, one here. Mr. E thinking. Does he want to go? Yeah, he wants to go straight back to Smashville. I was thinking maybe he would want to go back to uh maybe he wouldn't want to go back to Battlefield. But uh Link does just as much with platforms as uh Lucina does, so. Or he banned Battlefield. Even see, even with even with the tablet, I just I just miss it. I just ignore it. I was like, oh, but why don't they? Why don't you go to Battlefield? And I just miss it. Still. Ay ay ay. Okay, another. No, it's. <laughs> I'm just blind, Devin. I just don't have good eyeballs. We see now an early deficit here for Mr. E, but another edge guard opportunity. He tried to go for the standing up B again. At 104, that probably wouldn't have killed, but it definitely would have gotten Mr. E in a disadvantageous position. But instead, back to center stage. Mr. E slowly racking up damage again. Zama trying to get this edge guard here. Back air will get Mr. E off stage. Let's see what he does here with this bomb. Oh, he forward airs it away. I think he tried to use the opportunity. Whoa! Beautiful tech by both players. They're able to get back, back to the stage. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a great edge guard by Mr. E. As soon as he realizes that Zamba is going low with that up beat, he will drop down and he will counter. Zamba needs to use better use of directional air dodge and higher recoveries if he wants to make this set interesting. It is even stocks, but again, another up air, up tilt combo, 87% here. How quickly Mr. E is able to rack up damage on this Smashville platform. But here comes Zamba getting Mr. E off stage again. Let's see what he can do with this opportunity. Another F tilt getting him off stage, just barely missing with that arrow. If he had clipped him with that, he might have been able to gimp him, but back to center stage. Even percent, and he catches him rolling in with that down smash again. We've seen Zamba do that both game two and game three, and now Mr. E on his winner's bracket stock here. Only 110 here for Zamba. This won't be able to kill quite yet, but he is. No, he won't have to go. Oh, he did go low. Kept Mr. E guessing, though, going low again. Mr. E not dropping down with that counter. But Forward throw, getting him off stage again. Let's see what he can do with this edge guard opportunity. He's able to catch him high. 20% of extra credit. Last stock, last game situation here for Zamba and Mr. E. He's able to bring it back to even again with one side B combo. Gets him off stage again. Catches his jump. Zamba able to make it back to the ledge. Let's see another edge guard opportunity for Mr. E. He's gonna catch him low. I feel like Mr. E could have done more than just jab twice with that. High recovery there by Zamba. Oh, aggressive option there off the ledge there. Mr. E was ready for it. Okay, another roll read here for Mr. E. The ledge trap game has been all Mr. E this last stock. Another grab right here. Zamba has completely lost this situation. Another neutral air. All it needs is one edge guard from Mr. E. Catches him again with a beautiful short hop up air, but Zamba not out of it yet. Go Mr. E, another situation off stage. 
Nama going low again. Another aggressive option for Zaba, though. The beggar will not be able to kill quite yet. Oh, but will the... No, going for another forward throw again. Zama tried to catch him slipping again with the reverse up B. He goes for it again. Another grab. Another forward throw. Up throw at this percentage. Might be able to kill, but... Oh, but another neutral air there. And Zama definitely disappointed. But we saw every time, every situation that last stock. It was pretty much even at the start. But every time Zama had an option off of the ledge, Mr. E was ready for it. He was ready for the roll. He was ready for the neutral. He was ready for the, the get-up attack. He was ready for the short hop forward air. Every single, it felt like every single time there were like five interactions in a row where Zamba was on the ledge and Mr. E was ready here for his recovery one way or the other. Racked up like 70, 80 percent. Put Zamba in a situation where he was on the defensive pretty much the last minute of that game. And Zamba kept it close. But Mr. E's use of Lucina on the ledge is just, just impeccable.